Caterpillar is proud to bring to you our next generation of small loaders, including your 926, your 930, my favorite, the 938. Now we're gonna build on the successful legacy, the M-Series product. On the business end, we're gonna continue to carry that range of performance series attachments. Long floor, open throat, round sides, digs quick, fills full. On your couplers, you get an option, either pin on, fusion interface, reduce the offset, reduce all the rear, or the ISO interface, the international standard. When it comes to a linkage, you get a choice of one, the optimized Z-Bar linkage. Integrated tool care performance as standard, parallel lift designed in. If you can pick it up, you can safely manipulate it. Standard lift or high lift as an option. Now wheel loaders, we got your choice of tires. 17 and a half, 20 and a half on the 938, the 23 and a half as an option. L2s, L3s, L5s, solid tires, wide flotation for water and sewer and agriculture are all an option, as is tire pressure monitoring. We can check the tire pressures for you. Now new with the next generation small loaders is auto wheel torque on all three models. We're gonna match the torque to the underfoot conditions so that you get maximum push with minimum tire spin, meaning maximum performance and the lowest owning and operating cost. Now the 938 only is gonna feature auto diff lock where it will lock those two tires together and away it goes. Now, the powertrain in these machines is gonna continue to be our intelligent high stat drive. Now with the high stat drive, you get separation of engine speed and ground speed. And we have innovated further with powertrain modes where you can get torque converter mode, which rolls down hills and around grades, high stat aggressive engine braking, ice mode seasonally, and brand new to the next gens, single pedal mode. You can lock the throttle and do your ground speed just through your right foot. It's a simplified way to run this machine. First to industry here with the CAT Next Gen Small Wheel Loaders. Now when it comes to visibility, you can see we actually have reshaped the cab so that as you come up here to the service item, you can wash that front windshield, you can wash the new sides and this lower window, which has been scalloped so that you can see all the way down here to the job site where I'm standing now. Now let's make service easy. Auto lube as an option. It's gonna automatically grease those linkage pins while they're hot and in motion. It's using the machine brain, so it's counting down to a grease interval only on working time. We are also gonna bring the fresh air intake for the cab down here, easier service from the ground level. Now the engine in this machine is gonna to continue to be that Cat C 7.1 liter engine, an inline six cylinder. Making service easy, we've doubled it. So we've gone from 500 hours to a thousand hour service interval on the air intake, on the fuel filters, on the oil filters. That's a 45% reduction in the amount of filters and the amount of fluid that you're gonna put in this machine. Now to complement that, auto engine speed. We are gonna automatically adjust the engine speed based on the operator's inputs. So if they're not doing anything, we'll go into a hibernate state at just 800 RPM. If they stomp it to the floor, we're gonna cap it at 1600 revolutions per minute until they ask for a max powertrain or a max implement command, and then we'll boost it up to 1800. It's gonna give you efficiency as standard or power when you really need it. Now from a start aid perspective, you can get the standard start, which is two batteries, the cold start, which is four batteries, or an extreme duty, which brings online a cold oil bypass for high altitude. Debris management, as standard, you're gonna get six fins per inch wide spacing. Medium debris is gonna give you a reversing fan plus a turbine pre-cleaner, or you can go all in with high debris, which is gonna complement all that with a sealed alternator. Now, extra eye on the job site never hurts. Next gen loaders are gonna feature a standard rear view camera. As an option, you can get a multi-view camera, which lets you see all the way around the machine from the operator station through a new screen. And as an option, rear object detection, beep, 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 beep. That extra eye, a tone in your ear, telling you when you're getting close to object. Shall we have a look together? Let's jump in that brand new cab.
Now, welcome to the best seat on your job site. And you get a choice of seats, either from a standard, a deluxe, or my favorite, this premium, which is both heated and cooled. Now, the start system on these new machines is push to start. Turn the locking ring, you're greeted with a security code. Up to 50 different profiles can be put in from a security perspective. Push it and your way you go. Now, as an optional upgrade, you can get a Bluetooth key fob, which recognizes you and you're ready to go immediately. Now, it's reminding me now that it's powered on. I really need to buckle up. So as I buckle my seatbelt, as optional equipment, you'll notice that we've got a green seatbelt beacon on the exterior of the cab. It goes green saying, hey, I'm safe. I'm ready to go to work. Now, if I were to unbuckle my seatbelt and leave the cab, the machine would actually recognize that an operator is not present and it would bring it to a stop, engage park brake and isolate it new with the next gen loaders. Now, from a steering perspective, of course, you can get the standard steering wheel or you can get the optional upgrade joystick steering. Now this is a force feedback system allowing us to have joystick steer all the way up to 25 mile an hour or 40 kph. Implements. The standard is going to be a joystick and you can get that in a two valve, a three valve or a four valve which is complemented with a jog dial which gives you muscle memory real-time adjustment to things through the primary display. As an option, you can also get single axis levers, again, in a two valve, a three valve, and a four valve variation. Now, as we swing up through soft touch buttons for quick adjustments, primary eight inch display as standard, multi-view camera as an option, seeing all the way around this machine, automatic temperature control, one touch defrost for the mirrors, for the cab, for the rear glass, automatic lighting it gets dark the lights come on in reverse you go in reverse the lights come on i've got electrically adjusted mirrors so the mirrors exterior you get a base you get a heat or you get a heat plus electrically adjust and also we've got the ability to have cat payload 250 hours of demonstration and if you like it you can lock it in and have it full time and that gives you the ability through the primary display to track your payload to load that truck right the first time and away you go a lot of optional and standard equipment on these next gen loaders if you see some options you want to upgrade on your machine contact your cat dealer likely can get that in the aftermarket if you want to upgrade your machine to the next gen wheel loader encourage you to do that because i'm going to put mine to work right now